Gator on. Hello, friends. This is Hook's Heading Adventures fishing with Putin. Well, last night the uh, the remnants of Hurricane Elsa came through. It gave us some high winds, some thunderstorms, some rain. I woke up and uh, the rain is gone, but we've still got uh, some, some good wind and it's overcast. I recently found uh, a new landscaping pond that I didn't know about. Very, very close to the, to the house. So I thought I would use this time this morning to get to it. That's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a little gonzo fishing because there's pretty much a chain link fence around the whole thing except for it looks like one section. And uh, it's not posted. So I'm going to go and uh, try to get to it. And if I can get to it, I'm gonna fish it until somebody comes and says, hey, you're not supposed to be in there. So uh, come on and let's start this adventure. Okay, friends, here we are. The landscaping pond I was telling you about. Can anyone tell where this is behind? Now it's, so far, it's nice. They've uh, been so kind as to mow around the the pond, the chain link fence, right to this opening where I can get into it. It looks like there's a creek that feeds into it, into this section of it. And so today I'm going to do nothing but artificial. Start out with a rebel crawl. Well, there's a turtle. So we know, there, we know there's something in here. Now this water looks very promising. So far, the only thing I've seen though is turtles. But in my experience, that's been a pretty good sign most of the time. And we got some frogs there. Well, another good sign that I just saw as I was walking to this side is minnows. The barometric pressure is currently 29. 29.9 .9 inches of mercury that's that's pretty good I see a wading bird so it's feeding on something it could be feeding on frogs but it could also feed, be feeding on fish got an alligator coming There was a fish. There's fish in here. I see them. That alligator's eating something, and I'm guessing it was those fish that I just saw. Look at him. He's going for my crick hopper. There we go. Wow. It was a small one, but it was it was definitely on. Well, once again, I turned to retie. And this alligator is right behind me. Decided to switch to a Pilgrimite, and there's something hitting it right in front of me.
can't have my Helger mic. And one thing, this thing is brave. All right, fish on. That's a decent one, too. I hope I've got the hook set good enough. Whoa, what do we have here? Now that is a very nice war mouth. Friends, I got to get a picture of this thing. Yeah, he just tore up that Helgramite. You go back in there and grow up some. Get a little bit bigger than you already are. Yeah, he inhaled that Helgramite. And here comes the alligator. I don't know what he thinks he's going to get. Friends, I think uh, I think this fellow needs a, a name. Just put in the comments what you think we should call this thing. Oh, fish on. Oh, this is a nice one. Whoa. <laughs> There's Daddy Bass. There he is. Yeah, this one's going to have to get a pitcher and wade. Yeah, that is a very, very nice largemouth. Better turn around, though, because here comes the alligator. He thinks he's going to get my bass. One pound. Almost... One pound, 13 ounces. Out of a landscaping pond, friends. Out of a landscaping pond. Oh, gator on. I don't know what I'm going to do with this when I get it up here. Well, that's a bunch of teeth on him.
I know he can go anytime he wants to. Enough of that adventure. He's had enough and I've had enough. But that's a definitely a, a new species for me. I could go ahead and retie. But like I said earlier, I forgot my leader line. So, I'm just gonna call, pack it in for today. I think that was the other alligator. So apparently there's three in here. I guess if I'm going to be fishing here in South Carolina, I should bring some stuff to handle alligators. Maybe a big fish billy. That six pound braid held on to him for a while. He was definitely more than six pounds. Okay, friends, that's it for today. And what a day it was. I, uh, I tell you what, it was, uh, it was excellent fishing out there today. We, we could almost call it catching. First off, who would think that uh, you could catch the fish like I caught today in a retention pond slash landscaping pond right behind a Walmart? But I did. It was great. I, I was I was kind of uh, skeptical when I first got to it. Uh, the water looked good, but uh, I, I just didn't know. But then I started seeing signs that there was something in there. Uh, the things that I am starting to look for when I hit a retention pond is wading birds. That's a great sign. Uh, turtles, alligators. If you see meadows running around in the shallows, that's a, a million times more likely to mean that there's some fish in there because they're feeding on those meadows. How they get in there, I don't know. It looks like this one may be fed from a creek. I'm not certain though. Uh, next chance I get, I'm going to explore a different section of it. But uh, what did y'all think about that alligator? Oh lord, I've never caught an alligator. And as I said earlier, how many of you can say that you're trying to get away from alligators? Well, I definitely tried to get away from the alligators today. And finally, I, I, and truth be told, I was just fooling around when that, uh, when that gator took that, that Bobby Garland jig. Actually, I take that back. It was a, a gulp minnow, three inch gulp minnow. But I was just fooling around and he just snapped and the fight was on. I think if I'd had the tools, I probably could have landed it. Although, I don't know what the rules are here in South Carolina for catching an alligator. But it was a, a lot of fun today. And I'm definitely coming back to this retention pond. Uh, thanks again for uh, subscribing. For those of you that have, I really appreciate it. 
and if you've not uh, be sure to hit the, the like and subscribe button so uh, this has been Hook Saying Adventures and what an adventure it was fishing with pudding